Suppose you're interested in evaluating the integral of inverse cosine of x. In order to calculate this integral, we're going to use the method of integration by parts. The integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. But what is a good choice for u and dv here? Let us take u to be inverse cosine of x and dv be nothing but dx. So since u is equal to inverse cosine of x, we already know the derivative. du is equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx and v is the integral of dx v is equal to x itself. Very well. So now let us try our best to see if we can simplify this integral. This integral is equal to uv which is inverse cosine of x times v, which is x itself, minus the integral of v du. v is equal to x, and du is negative 1, divided by square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So the integral on the second part is easy to work with. You can just use substitution. If you take something like m or anything that you like, t equals to 1 minus x squared, dt is equal to negative 2x dx. So your integral can be written as inverse cosine of x times x and then you have, you have a negative sign, so let's keep it as it is. And here I'm going to multiply it by 2 and divide it by a half. And, and then I'm going to use this part as my dt. So I end up with negative a half integral of x. And let me just add x here as well to make sure we have everything as dt. Very good. The integral of dt divided by square root of t. You already know how to deal with this integral. So, so far we have inverse cosine of x. times x minus a half and you have the integral of now you have dt times t to power negative a half right so from calculus when we have the integral of u to power n du this is u to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration So this integral can be written as x times inverse cosine of x. And when you are adding 1 to the exponent, you get a half. So a half times 2, it becomes 1. So you get negative 1 times t to power a half. But what is t? This is equal to x times inverse cosine of x minus square root of 1 minus x squared plus constant of integration. 